I think my father could be in serious trouble. Your father's most secretive when he's working. All he told me was he was searching for someone here in Acapulco. Fenton Hardy is our prisoner. To release him, we require his files now in your possession. We're taking a stand for all the girls who are going to be ripped off in the next 24 hours by two guys who want to get down to business. Hey, Joe! The kite is ripped! Joe? What's happening to him? Boys, the Acapulco Spies. Distancia, por favor. Hablo usted en inglés. Operator, I want to place a long distance call to the United States. Bayport, Massachusetts. Thank you, operator. Let's see. Wait a minute. Yeah, let's see. Wait a minute. Forensic work is an exact science, and patience is a mandatory prerequisite. And mine's run out. All I want to do is see. It is my fingerprint. Yes, but it's my theory. And it works. Now you can look. Yeah. Yeah, they match. That's right. With this technique, you could plant a fingerprint anywhere you wanted one. Joe, we're supposed to solve crimes, not find ways to help perpetuate them. Oh, it's been a slow week. Besides, it creates a precedent, Craig. Right? I mean, if I could transfer a fingerprint from a glass in your room to a slide down here, any fingerprint could be simulated like that. We could destroy the most valuable piece of forensic evidence in one glorious moment. Hi, guys. Hello? Yes, this is Frank Hardy. Yes, I'll accept the charges. Dad? Frank, it's good to hear your voice, son. Well, it's good to hear yours. What's going on down there? The operator said it was an emergency. You know the Malik file I was working on before I left for Acapulco? Could you bring it down to me? Sure, where is it? In the top left-hand drawer of my desk. It's in a locked box. You won't be able to open it. I have the key. Don't try to force it open. Just bring me the box. Now take the first flight you can get and register at the Playa Hotel under another name. Use Fredericks, and I'll get in touch with you the day you arrive. Now, if I can't get in touch with you... No, 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 wait a minute, Frank. Wait a minute, I'm going to send somebody else in my place. I think it's better that there be no direct contact. Whoever I send will come up to you at the hotel and say, Oh, I just have to talk to an American. Dad, Dad, are you all right? And don't be surprised at who I send. It's imperative that no one know who you are or why you're here until the contact is made. Is that understood? Well, no, but let the contact tell you about me in his own time. He may be under surveillance or something, so just bear with him. 
I'm all right. Dad, who is Malik? Well, he's one of my most... Dad? Dad? No, those creeps. I hope their surfboard got stuck in the revolving door. Well, those beautiful blonde Californians cleaned us out. They got all of our money and our airline tickets. You're kidding. I'm not kidding. Well, that's the last time I let anybody use my room to make a phone call. Well, we've got to think of something. Maybe we can thumb a ride over the border. Jackie. Before we get out of this country, we've got to get out of this hotel. They've got our passports. And they don't give them back until we settle our bill. Well, we'll just have to call your parents. My parents are off somewhere in Europe. We're going to have to call yours. Mine are on a cruise in the Greek islands. Oh, swell. Why'd you let them do that? Maybe things will look better after a couple hours of sun by the pool. Jackie, what are we going to do? Come on, we'll think of something. Well, no dad at the airport and no one here to meet us. Well, maybe he left us a message. Maybe. We have a reservation. Welcome to Acapulco. I hope you will have a pleasant stay. If you throw that in my face, I will twist your head off. When do I get out of here? When the time is right. When's that? Look, uh, when do I eat? When the time is right. He's weakening. He'll crack. Why does that name sound so familiar? What are you doing, Frank? If we could only get inside. We could break it open. No, Dad said not to. We better wait. We have to do something. <laughs> the first thing we should do is put it someplace safe.
How long ago did Mr. Hardy check out? Well, he's not officially checked out. We still have his passport. But I haven't seen him in several days. Do you leave any message at all? Uh, none. We've got to think of something. We can't keep signing for Pat to the gun. I told you before, we'll think of something. We just thought of something. We did? Mm-hmm. Well, please pay just if there are any calls. Of course. Thank you. Well, what are we going to do around here until we're contacted? What are you going to say to me? Well, I've got a couple of wonderful ideas. Joe, this isn't the time to be thinking about girls. I'll take care of you. Hey, hey, yes, yes. Jackie. Well, this may sound strange, but I just had to talk to a fellow American. We've been expecting you. You have? Yeah, let's get down to business. Hey, not so fast. Give us a break. Let's at least get out of the lobby. Oh, let's get out of the hotel. There are some great places to see in Acapulco. No, we're not interested. And she's right, my friends. If you want thrills and excitement in Acapulco, Ramon is your man. Let's go. Let's go have some fun, huh? Jackie, I don't understand. Just what are we doing? We're freeloading. We're taking a stand for all the girls who are going to be ripped off in the next 24 hours by two guys who want to get down to business. They're our ticket home. Yeah, but I like them. I like them, too. But they're enjoying the pleasure of our company. And, and look, they're having a wonderful time. I came here to find Dad. What am I doing jumping off a cliff? We're playing the game. They're obviously being watched. All they have to do is tell us where Dad is. Maybe they're afraid of listening devices or something. I don't know. All set? Well, I'm ready as I'll ever be. You sure you want to go through with this? I've hang glided before. Yeah, but not from heights like these. Don't worry, I'll make it. Okay, smooth sailing. We'll see you on the beach. Be careful. Oh, well. I think you know what Frank and I want. You have to come through sooner or later. Is that right? Don't let the fact that we're young fool you. We've had a lot of experience in this kind of thing. I can see that. I think it's imperative that we get together tonight. Before or after dinner? I'm not worried about dinner. I do need to keep my strength up. Well, I suppose we could get together during dinner. During? Sure. Maybe the restaurant could sell tickets. Happy landings. What'd I say? Hey, everybody ready? Hey, you need this. Remember, nothing to worry about. All you have to worry is about taking the upcurrents. They will always take you over the rocks and onto the beach. I have to talk to you. Hey, Ramon, is this right? Hey, not that way, please! long enough. You've got to tell me what happened. We've got a big problem. Well, how'd you get involved? I don't know. Some smooth-talking American. Maybe he really was in trouble, but, well, now we are. Tell me about it. I will tonight, over dinner.
Good luck. Thank you. about five minutes from the rest of your lands. That has to be one of the finest displays of hang gliding I've ever seen. It's amazing what self-preservation can do for your technique. It was perfect in the pre-flight check. What happened? Someone cut through this deliberately. I think I have a pretty good idea who did it. We've seen wrecked rooms before, but it never completely demolished. I'd say our man on top of the cliff made a pit stop on his way home. You know, there's something really personally offending to me about someone coming in and tearing apart my room. He was here, looking for that file, while we were sitting on top of the cliff. Those two girls set us up, Joe. They're working for the other side. Yeah, but they knew the code phrase. Doesn't mean they got it from Dad. Unless they got it under duress. But look the way they stalled us and kept us away from the room so it could be ripped apart. Oh, you can't be sure of that, Frank. Oh, we will be. Tonight. Ladies over here. Go ahead, enjoy your dinner. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hello there. I should apologize for not inviting you back to our room this afternoon, but it was such a mess when we got there. It was? 
like and destroyed. You two are going to tell us everything you know about our father's disappearance, or we're going to shake it out of you. And we're going to keep shaking until you tell us the truth. I think there's been a large misunderstanding. Oh, good evening, Mr. Cartel. I'm sorry, I didn't have a reservation for you, but if you will... Uh, my just... usual table will be adequate. Uh, besides, there's some very good friends I must say hello to. Uh, warm a decanter of Rothschild 67. Right away, sir. You came up to us and said that you just had to talk to a fellow American. That's the code phrase. Almost. I'm sorry, but we really did need to talk to a fellow American. We don't know your father. When I think back on our conversation, what you two must have been thinking. <laughs> we thought you were two of the fastest workers we'd ever met. <laughs> All of which means we're no nearer to finding our father. Excuse me, uh, perhaps I might be of some help in that regard. You're Frank and Joe Hardy. I recognize you from your father's photograph. You know our father? But of course. He's been staying with me for a couple of days. Uh, you see, we're old friends. And for some reason, he didn't want to stay at a hotel. Uh, I don't know why. Your father can be most secretive. I'm afraid you have us at a disadvantage. Uh, uh, forgive me. Sometimes a familiar figure forgets to acquaint himself with strangers. I'm Alexander Cartel. Hey, you do? Pleased to meet you. Cartel. I don't think I remember my father mentioning that name. Well, we haven't seen one another for many years. Well, uh, let me introduce you to some friends. Jackie, Sue, Mr. Cartel. Ladies, I'm delighted. I don't believe your father knew that you were coming down to Mexico. Where is he? Oh, he had to fly to Mexico City, some urgent business. Uh, he should be back tomorrow. Oh, perhaps you gentlemen could join us at my home for dinner tomorrow night. I own the estate on the hill overlooking the harbor. Perhaps you've noted it. That would be wonderful. Thank you. Fine. Until tomorrow night, then. Ladies. I think we just made our first real contact. Just what is it that you guys are into? We don't know yet. There's something about that man. I can't put my finger on it, but I don't trust him. Neither do we. That's why we're seeing him. Well, I guess this is where we better part company. Um, couldn't we just negotiate for dinner? There's nothing you can do about your father tonight. I think we could be persuaded. a foolish thing to attempt, Senor Hardy. Malik. Don't 
say that there's no one that exists by that name. I have proof. I know. And your sons have that proof. Yes, they're here. You almost lost one on the cliff today. I hope they're all right. I'm afraid Carlos exceeded his orders. They'll give me what I want. They're gambling with your life. They're my sons. They won't betray my confidence. Another life in the balance uh, may help that decision. It was all so long ago. Our friendship should have transcended boundaries. And loyalties, too, huh? It's all corrupt. You know that as well as I do. The ultimate loyalty is to survive. I'm just sorry you forced me into this. That was really fun, you know. Uh, they're pretty nice. They were nice. I'm gonna go inside. Okay, I'll meet you back in the room. I'm tired. Okay. Good shot. Thank you. Paul! You have a beautiful place here. It uh, serves my needs. I wonder if I could see the room my father was staying in. Are all his things still there? Yes. But why should you want to see his room? Paul! My father usually keeps a notebook with him when he's working on a case. If he doesn't have it with him, then it may still be in the room. It might give us a clue to his disappearance. Disappearance? He hasn't disappeared. I told you he's gone to Mexico City. He'll be back in 24 hours. I think my father could be in serious trouble. Well, I'm distressed to hear that. Pull! As I told you, your father's most secretive when he's working. All he told me was he was searching for someone here in Acapulco. Now, if we knew who that person was... Do you know? If I knew, then I'd be acting on that information. I'm glad to hear you say that. If there's anything you need, please let me know. This is my city. I'll remember that. Paul! It's a Jackie. She's gone. She's disappeared. I can't okay, find her. Hold anyone. it. Hold it. What are you talking about? Sit down. What's the matter? Jackie didn't come back to our room last night. She didn't even call. You have no idea where she is? No. I found her bracelet in some bushes close to our room. I'm so worried. Look, I'm sure nothing's happened to her. You stay here. Frank and I'll check it out. Don't worry. We'll find her. I'd say good morning if, if there was any light. Who are you? I'm Jackie Ryan. You're Benton Hardy, aren't you? Huh? I, kn I know your sons. Sue and I, my girlfriend Sue at the hotel, we're here on vacation and, um... The boys know you're in trouble. They're trying to find you. What, uh... 
you. <laughs> How'd you get in here? A man. Some big man. Oh, that was Carlos. What do they want with me? Look, they're just trying to load the odds. See, my sons have got something these people want, and they'll do anything to get it. And they know I won't crack. And my sons know that, too. But uh, well, with you here... What's going to happen to us? Jackie, we're going to get out of here. I don't know how yet, but we're going to get out of here. Don't worry. Where are my sons now? I don't know. They met a friend of yours. Um, Alexander Cartel? I searched the house and there was nothing. I talked to the police. They said they're not interested in cases that can't be proved. As far as they're concerned, Dad's in Mexico City. Well, we've got to do something. What do you do in a poker game when the other guy's got all the cards and you're looking at a pair of deuces? You run a bluff. Right. You got it. <laughs> There's a distinct index fingerprint in the upper right-hand corner of this passport. And the passport belongs to your father. That's right. We got it from the hotel safe. This is our attaché case. I still don't understand what you're going to do. You will. Okay. I'm going to take this piece of tape, lay it over Dad's fingerprint like this. Now I've got the fingerprint on the tape. Put the tape on the clasp of the briefcase. When you peel it back, there's Dad's fingerprint. It worked. I still don't understand. What I've done is taken Dad's fingerprint from the passport and transferred it to the clasp on the attaché case. And what good is that going to do us? It's going to help us find him and maybe Jackie. Come in. Los señoras Hartley. Oh. You're very prompt. Uh, I'm afraid your father won't be dining with us this evening. I've just received this most disturbing communication. Fenton Hardy is our prisoner. To release him, we require his files now in your possession. You have 24 hours from receipt of this letter to secure the files. Details of delivery and exchange will follow. Naturally, it's unsigned. Now, I have no idea what case your father was working on or the vicious people that he must be dealing with. I do not possess the files that that letter is talking about. I'm just praying that you do. This is a bluff. They don't have our father. He was in our hotel room tonight. But that's impossible. According to that letter... We proved it ourselves. Our room was wrecked yesterday. Undoubtedly by the same people that had our father prisoner. We had dusted our room for fingerprints to see if we could get a line on who had done it. It came up empty. Somebody was in our room today. Again we dusted for fingerprints and again we came up empty. Almost. We found a fingerprint on my briefcase that belongs to my father. That means he was in there not long ago. But are you certain that the print is his? You see for yourself. We matched it to one we keep on file. Do you have a magnifying glass? Yes, uh, I believe so. I think you'll find they match up perfectly. Yes, they certainly match. You haven't called in the police yet, have you? No, not yet. I wanted to talk to you both first. Good. I think the best thing we can do is sit tight and wait for our father to get in touch with us. I agree. And I only hope that that's soon. Under the circumstances, maybe we can waive dinner for a few nights. Of course. And as I said, if there's anything I can do for you, please let me know. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night.
right, let's go. How do I get the feeling he knows we're following him, leading us into the same trap he let Dad? Just don't think about it. Thanks, Frank. That's a load off my mind. Looks like he's heading for somewhere in the harbor. What is this place? It's the old prison. Our guide at the hotel was telling us about it. It hasn't been used in over a century. Looks like they've recently reopened for business. Sue, I want you to drive to the police station and bring the police back here as soon as you can. Tell them we've located Jackie and she's being held prisoner in the fortress. Be careful. I will. I will. It's up most to my mind. the car. It's most comforting to know that you are still here. But then somehow I never doubted it. I must say your sons are most ingenious. You see, we've been playing sort of a cat and mouse game. They almost had me convinced that you had escaped. If you've touched them, I'll never fear they're safe. For now. But it won't be long before they hand me your file. Malik. Malik, just let the girl go. You don't need her. I told you not to call me by that name. Why not? You've used it for 30 years. Let me ask you something, Malik. Come on, Joe. How many secrets do you carry in your head that could destroy my country? How many American lives are on your conscience? How many loyalties have you betrayed in the line of duty? I assure you, only those that I had to. Jackie. I want to introduce you to one of the most devious and dangerous international agents in the world. A man, a shadowy figure known only by the code name Malik. Known to me for 15 years as a friend. And that friendship was genuine. Malik has been dead for years. 
You should not have tried to find them at the cost of our friendship. You seem to forget that I'm no longer in that business. Business? That's what it was to you, business. Bacteriological warfare, wasn't it? This man bought and sold secrets that could kill millions of people. I am a professional. You are the one who has betrayed a personal alliance. No doubt your State Department sent you here because of that. I'm a professional, too. I'll be doing a job. A job I didn't want, but one I had to take. You know, I didn't believe them, Alex, when they told me. But you proved it to me. Don't make any threatening moves. My men are all over the place. Besides, you're too weak from hunger and exhaustion. Now, if you want to live, both of you, cooperate. I want that file. Joe, the keys! You found me. Huh? I'll tell you later. Let's get out of here. Mira, oye, me están ahí. Síguelos. Síguelos por allá. Keep going. I'll lead him off in another direction. Joe! No, we can't let him he, do that. He knows what he's doing. There must be another way out of here. Come on. off the job you started on the cliff. Where is Senor Cartel? Uh, I locked him in a room somewhere. Where? I don't know. Gee, this is a big place. I wouldn't know where to find him. You're gonna tell me. Well, I'd love to check. <laughs> understand. Whatever you do, steer away from those rocks, okay? I will. Hey, by the way, I'm happy to have found out that you found your father. I was supposed to be your contact. You were? That's right. Good luck, huh? 
Okay. Cartel was a spy. One of the best. Unfortunately, he sold his services to the highest bidder against the Western Alliance. When the State Department asked me to come down here and track him down, I couldn't believe my ears. But then when I investigated, I found out they were right. You see, that's why I needed the file on Malik, to prove my allegations to the federal authorities here. Otherwise, they never would have believed me. It would have been like trying to indict the president. What's going to happen to him now? Extradition, formal charges. I can't bring myself to think of it as a victory, though. Why not? I liked the man. I trusted him. A broken trust is... Well, I feel the loss. But where's Frank? He's up there. Up there? Well, you saved my life, so don't do anything foolish with yours. I won't. If you promise to make a safe landing, I'll give you something to look forward to. I'll see you on the beach. Has he ever done this before? I taught him everything he knows. I know I should find that comforting, but somehow that's what I was afraid of.